Welcome back to DXB Today. Really excited to welcome our next guest in the studio. He is not only a real estate agent, but he's gone on to be a fantastically successful content creator. Welcome to the show, Jordan Hisham. How are you, sir? How are you? Yeah, pleasure to be here. No, thank you so much for <laughs> also dressing. How much do you pay for rent? Yeah. <laughs> <In the way. laughs> hey, you know How what? How much do you pay? Yeah, exactly. We were just You're talking about it. Going to make a lot of tours it. after this show, yeah. <laughs> because, yeah, I uh, I got a really good deal in COVID, and uh, wow. my landlord, I pay less. I pay very wow. little like amount. Like you. Yeah. yeah, but Walid had that idea for you. You should go yeah. around asking people what has been your rent increase, increase. this year. <laughs> yeah. Get people to admit <laughs> how much more they've had to pay this year and whether they've threatened their uh, So that's really interesting. Landlord. The question that you asked is yeah. literally that and then your social media has gone crazy. Where did that little nugget, where did that idea come from? Well, it's been a long time I'm trying to do uh, social media. Like 10 years I was trying, you know, it, it's hard. Yeah. It's very uh, challenging. So, but I was always going, you know. I was studying, I was still trying to do something on the side. And then when I started this, it was still hard. Like every day I had 50 to 40 rejection. Everyone telling me, who are you? Why should I let you enter my place? Right. Yeah, yeah. I had three teams, they couldn't handle me because I was like four hours trying to get to tour any place. <laughs> It was very difficult. I yeah. always assumed that was set up. I didn't realize no, you no, no. like... Yeah. It was real, yeah. It, it was real in the beginning, like for six months. And then people started texting me, everything became more easy. Yeah, but in the beginning it was really hard. Yeah, and everyone... But I understand, like I never take it personally when someone telling me I don't want you to see my place or who are you because they didn't wait for me. So, but my team was like very uh, exhausted from this. Like they tell me, I can't wait more, it's too hot, it's the sun. Well, this is why I changed teams. <laughs> oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, and then I started to do a little funny things, and then, well, I was always consistent. You know, I was always uh, having this attitude, I would not stop. And you think that's the key? Yeah, I think so. Consistency is always the key, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And, and to, be consistent, yeah. to be consistent with that question, I know yeah. it's typical, I know it's cliche, but Jordan, how much do you pay for it? <laughs> <laughs> We're all waiting. Well, I, I pay around 100k okay. in the palm. Yeah. All right. Nice That's cool a good studio. deal. That's a very yeah, good yeah. deal. Yeah. Of course, really I, I ask this question. I have to find a good deal. <laughs> this is, I can't believe you actually just asked him how much he pays for rent. No, wait, I want to ask you something, because obviously we are in the UAE. Yeah. You're Egyptian as I am, and we understand something about showing off homes. Yeah. People are afraid from yeah, yeah, yeah. like an evil eye it's and very choking. Challenging, yeah, actually, showing something that. Yeah. yeah. So this this is exactly what I was talking about. Every day people doesn't want you to come in. Even your best friends. I'm telling you, please support me. I have this idea, I wanna go. They say, no, 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 sorry, I'm private. Everyone is private, you know? I get it, I get it. Yeah, it's, but uh, still, uh, randomly you will meet people who will accept. Yeah. I met a very uh, unique, elegant lady from uh, France. She's 74 years old. Yeah. I did an amazing tour with her. She has her house, uh, like maybe one bedroom apartment in Old Town, Dubai Mall, next to Dubai Mall, but nice. it's full of like, it's a museum. And I found her by accident, just <sighs> consistency hard work, you know, never give up uh, mindset, that's it. If I yeah. accidentally <laughs> send you my address, would you accidentally <laughs> pass by my house? I would try. <laughs> Not with the parking, you know. I, I would try to convince you to let me have a tour. <laughs> Sometimes I tell them, okay, just let's, let's tour the garden, please. Let's tour anything, anything. anything. Let, let me tour the sofa. <laughs> but where do yeah. you see yourself like in a year? Will you be continuing with this hook, this sentence, or would you change your content to something else? Ooh. Well, I, I love creating content, different content, some funny content, but I still love this how much do you pay for rent? I'll be, uh, there is a lot of houses I, I, I want to tour. I had in Beirut, actually. Uh, I went there, I, I toured some different places, you know, some um, good areas, some little than average areas, but people were amazing, I loved them. So maybe so, you'll be touring around the world also. Yeah, yeah, I did in Bodrum, country. actually. A lot right. of tours, yeah. I, like villas, amazing ones, but small <laughs> houses in Bodrum, so I, I toured also. Uh, different in, in Kyrgyzstan, I, I made a tour, house wow. tours, yeah, yeah, so with cows and, and obviously horses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're no, I love people, to... I love to meet people all the time. That makes me meet a lot of people. It's but my passion, yeah. It's you very... see brokers who are taking over the social media, but we don't see content from you that are like going on with promoting places like for to sell uh, like uh, properties. Yeah, why yeah. You don't do my that? target is not to sell people something, uh -huh. I, I do it from my heart. This is why I went viral, 30 million views another 30 million views because I, I, I don't show people please buy this or 
I want from you uh, this commission or anything like this. No, no. I want to give them something entertaining Genuine and uh, informative. You know, mm. it's about learning. You know, so if, if kids and buying. Oh come on! You're like yeah. I don't want them to buy this really expensive home. That's no, be an insane I, I want them to know first, yeah. learn first, yeah. because I have even a lot of kids they recognize me in Dubai Mall or yeah. in the street. They all love my content. They all love that I go eat fruits. I try always to eat some fruits. I never eat some uh, fast food or anything. I try to show good example. You know, I don't show anything related to anything uh, bad. So I'm just trying yeah. to do. So, like a good message yeah. and learning. So, and that's so nice and it's so yeah, important yeah. So in today's see, society of yeah, content yeah, yeah. creating. So people see different interiors, people see different houses all over the world. Yeah. You have been so much fun to have yeah. in the studio. Yeah, yeah. I still Thanks. need to, don't go anywhere because I need to get some <laughs> tips from you before you leave the studio, okay? Yeah, okay. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, and Thanks for having so me. excited to see yeah, yeah. more Thanks content for having coming me here, from yeah. you. <laughs> now over to the spotlight. I'm really excited about this. It's uh, about a mommy creator and a really good friend of mine who strives for a greener future for her kids and people are obsessed with her for that reason. She's gonna tell us all about how she raises kids in the wild through her content. It is Jerry from My Wild Tribe. Let's take a look. My name is Jerry Wilmot. I'm a family concept creator here in Dubai and we are called My Wild Tribe. I think a lot of expats here in Dubai doesn't really realize that there's so much stuff to do outdoors, like exposing your kids to nature. And I think um, doing what I do inspired quite a few moms to be outdoors more. And like, you know, it's okay to be dirty. It's okay to fall and get hurt. I mean, like, you know, kids are resilient. They'll just um, get back up and go again. When I started sharing um, what I call chaos in her family, when my daughter was born, I didn't actually do it for, for the purpose of anything. Um, I just wanted to share it with my friends. But then I realized that there's like a um, wide audience that are interested in, in, my, in my content. So that's why I kept on going and I started to gain more followers. It's finding the time to be always like there, to be always active on social media. Obviously I'm, I have four kids and they are my number one priority and the last one as well is staying like authentic because it's hard to say no to big brands but I don't really accept anything that doesn't really resonate with me it has to be like I have to believe in the brand it like you know it has to match with my ethos Dubai is home um, I've been here for over 20 years. I came here when I was 18 and I raised um, obviously my family here and um, I wouldn't have the opportunities I have now right here anywhere else in the world. So I'm so grateful. Nice. She looks cool. She seems nice. She's amazing. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's time now for the roundup, and our very own Katie is going to be doing it for us today. What do we have, love? <laughs> love? Oh, thanks, Lane. <laughs> right, Dubai is the new LA. Influencers are flocking to the UAE to max social media followers, right? So there's a massive influx of social media influencers that are actually coming to the UAE and they're seeking to capitalize on lucrative branding opportunities and content creation collaborations. Now we know it's a big thing in the UAE, but the fact that now people are coming in and muscling in on, <laughs> on the business, what do we think? It's I think go home and find your own campaigns. <laughs> no, listen, it's been like that for a while though. Yeah. Uh, like, like I remember uh, Jake Paul coming in years and years ago. Who? No, but we're talking about people who are, oh my God, people who are moving to the, people like you, yeah, right? Yeah. Who are like, you've, you've gone around many because different cities these and you come and it just clicks in Dubai. Exactly. But I would say the more the merrier, you know, the, exactly. the, the, the more people who come to take advantage of opportunities the more opportunities are going to be created. It's about the continuity, if you right. will stay for a year or some people, they you don't know about them after one year, you forget about yeah. them or something. Yeah. So it's about how you work on creating a brand for yourself to continue. That's the best thing. And I think there's one thing that we can all agree on being presenters, being creators, whatever it is, is that 
everything looks a lot more exciting, but when you are working continuously, working, yeah. working really hard day after day, and it is somewhat repetitive, it, it's still work at the end. It and still the competition feels like work, and there's a lot of competition, higher, and it gets higher, exhausting. Yeah. So a lot of people start, and then when they realize how much work you're putting work into it, they're exactly. like, see ya. <laughs> Any future collaborations for you with anyone from LA, or? <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> why not? <laughs> <laughs> Look straight into camera three, and then you <laughs> um, And I think it's really interesting because exactly as you say, like, People are coming here and people are getting these incredible opportunities that they're not getting in, in their home countries. Or they might even be in a different country full stop and then be like, yeah. actually, no, UAE looks pretty banging for social media And it's everywhere, it's Instagrammable. So that is that so <laughs> true, by the oh, way. you are right. Yeah, like... Do you ever get tired, Waleed? Like, genuine question. And do you ever think, do you know what? I don't want to cover this. I don't want to do this for well, a collaboration. I exactly, yeah. Like, for sometimes for restaurants or something, I tell them, okay, I'll be eating. Who will be eating all that food on yeah, the table? Yeah. And how will I lose all that weight? So Yeah, yeah that is true. <laughs> so I, I always try to choose what I will collaborate with because at the end, I can't just be like a billboard with all these, uh, you know, ads going on. You, you have know what you to, mean. people. You have to have a niche, and the people who follow you, they should feel that it's something genuine. And genuine is the exactly. yeah, definitely the big yeah. point. Wonderful. Thank you, Ali. There's so much more to come, and here's what else is coming up on the show. We have part two of our exclusive interview with none other than Jada Pinkett Smith with Nimi. Plus, a performance by one of the coolest duo in town will be right back, guys. <laughs>